become an annual fixture now at Christmas time Ireland. Um, Ireland 20s come down to play a Munster Academy slash development squad. So um, very good game again this year um, with um, a huge number of Munster guys involved in the game that were trying to get into the Irish 20 squad. So we had uh, we had starters for the Irish 20s and obviously we had um, with um, everybody else that was um, fit at the time available for Irish 20s played on the Munster team. So it was a very, very good game again this year. Um, Munster, Munster controlled the game for a lot of it and Ireland actually came back and got a couple of late scores to pip us at the end. But a uh, very, very worthwhile um, exercise for both, both, um, both squads. Guys from the same province going for the same position on an, on an international side and they're, um, they're, they get an opportunity to play against each other to see where, where they go. So um, as always, the boys have a, they have a bit of fun with that. After the Christmas break, it uh, swung back in with the Munster Senior Cup final. Um, very inter entertaining match between Cork Khan and Gary Owen and um, there was um, a huge number of guys in the system here in, in, the, develop in the academy that were involved in the, um, in the fixture and um, Khan pipped it again. I think Khan and Gary Owen have had a, a bit of um, have had a real ding dong with, with that tournament over the last couple of years. But a very good game and um, a lot of the Irish under 20s guys actually got a really good run out in that game as well. It was um, quite a strong team with regards to experience, um, so um, there was uh, some Irish 20s guys involved in it and then there was um, quite a lot of guys that are, uh, were looking to get some game time um, and with a view to being involved in, um, in the Pro 14 during the, during the international window. So uh, a very worthwhile exercise again um, to, to get two very good provincial teams um, playing at a, at a high level. It's a great return that we have um, that we have that many in the in the squad at the moment. Um, so there's there's 12 guys involved in a squad of, of 40 that have been selected for the for the Six Nations period. So hopefully a lot of them will, will get opportunity over that. But it's uh, it's great that, that we have so many involved in it and that are um, being exposed to that level of rugby. It's great to see um, the, the Irish 20s making uh, Irish Independent Park their base, and um, we have uh, of them 12 players. There's a there's a lot of Cork. Um, Cork guys in that group and I'm sure they really are looking forward to, to an opportunity to play for their country in their hometown so it's great and, and uh, in fairness the redevelopment of Irish Independent Park, the surface is fantastic down there so it, it ends, ends the opportunity to really good rugby um, uh, at the Irish, under 20, at Irish 20s level where they're looking to play a really good brand of rugby. As happens when the international um, Six Nations kicks off um, Guys have moved up, so there is an opportunity for, for guys to to get a, to play with the province at, at Pro 14. So we've had guys who were involved in um, All Ireland League last week when, the, when that recommenced, and um, they're in training this week, hoping to, to get a, an opportunity um, against the Dragons in the Pro 14. So they'll either um, they'll get that opportunity or they'll play AIL this week in the in the next round of it. So uh, lots of opportunity, and it means guys are training with the with the senior squad more regularly at, over this period.